like a high mass, three priests, a deacon. So. <laughs> what a better way than to welcome the new year with this blessing. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. That blessing from our first reading in Numbers has a special place for those of us who are followers of St. Francis because St. Francis of Assisi used to use that blessing often. And since it's from the Hebrew scripture, the Blessed Virgin Mary herself probably heard it pronounced over her and her people. The summary phrase of that blessing is, the Lord give you peace. However, Mary would have heard it with the Hebrew word for peace, shalom. Shalom is that underlying principle of the Torah. And the Hebrew shalom means more than peace, though. It means a lot more than peace. It means peace, justice, integrity in relationships. And it is this understanding of a universal flourishing, wholeness, and a sense of delight. And in the Jewish tradition, it also implies safety and growth in wholeness, as if the entire universe was woven together and functioning as God intended. The blessing of Shalom prays that humanity and the entire universe may live in communion that God created us to enjoy. And it's perfect for us and the entire church this weekend that we observe the World Day of Prayer for Peace. I believe it's the 50th anniversary of it. And today we also celebrate the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary under her title, the Mother of God. And the church celebrates the woman whose trusting faith in God allowed her to give birth to the Prince of Peace. When you think about what Mary did, you could say that Mary's response displayed shalom. When the shepherds found her in the manger, she had a new baby, a confused but faithful husband, and she was trying to do the best she could in spite of the horrible circumstances in which they found themselves. And in the midst of this, she learned to remain open to God's shalom, to allow her faith to exceed her uncertainties, to allow her hope to give her resolve beyond her power to imagine. Mary's openness and willingness to trust in the God in whom she fully believed allowed her to be an instrument of God's will, to be an instrument of peace, shalom, that gave birth to Christ. I don't know about you, but I've often wondered how Mary had such a trusting faith in God that allowed her to say that yes, and that gave her the grace of God's peace, the grace of shalom. And I think our gospel gives us some insight. When the shepherds see this child, they begin to tell Mary and Joseph what the angel had said to them earlier in the fields. And Mary's response, if you heard the gospel, is an inner one. Mary kept all these things. Some translations say she treasured them or reflected on them, pondered them in her heart. And she quietly takes it all in to keep and ponder what it's all about. Today we celebrate this woman, this mother of God, and she's presented to us as the one who began her unique role in this life, pondering what just has happened, pondering the meaning, not only of what this infant life in her arms is all about, but also her own life. And that pondering, that reflecting, led her to lovingly choose that most holy yes. By tradition, New Year's
Father's Day is a day to ponder. It's a day when we look back at the year past, and once again, we make those New Year's resolutions. And as we enter into this new year, Mary is set before you and me, pondering the meaning of her child. And we're invited to do the same. What does Jesus Christ mean for you and for me in our lives? And I think we go back to where we started. The words of blessing that we heard in that first reading that come true in this child, Jesus. For the Lord does keep and bless you and me in his son, Jesus. The Lord does let his face shine upon you and me and is gracious to you and me in his son, Jesus. The Lord does look on you and me kindly and gives you and me peace, shalom, in his son, Jesus. These are the gifts this holy child brings to us as we begin this new year. Blessing, light, kindness, and peace. My sisters and brothers, may you and I resolve to let Jesus Christ's gifts to us, his shalom, govern how we treat each other as individuals within our society and in our daily lives. And may this gift of Jesus Christ that we share become the hallmark of our decisions, our relationships, and our actions in this new year. And as we ponder this and what it means to let that shalom enter into our lives, maybe we can join with Mary and offer that holy yes to Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you peace and all good.